Hey, it's Reese at Escape Trailer. Just going to do a little video. Some of you guys are experiencing difficulty resetting your awning settings. So I've got to set this one up so you can see. This is probably what's led you to the video. It's not closing properly. Um, so what we want to do before you do any adjustments to the awning, you want to check the center. Make sure that the motor is pulling the awning in as tight as it can be. So just in the center of the awning, just push on it. If it's loose or you can stick your fingers underneath that lip, this lip should be right tight against that housing. Um, there's some play there. We need to reset the motor. So to do that, in your Dometic awning, I'm on page 9, reset the motor and the remote. Um, just keep in mind when we're done resetting the motor, we have to reset the wind sensor um, Okay, so essentially to get started Most of the um, awnings the on off switch is just inside the door Some of the switches are up over the front dinette The later models are all here. So we want to turn it off 10 seconds on 10 seconds back on and then we will see an awning jog. It's step two, sorry, step three that's most difficult to understand. So let's go through the process. Okay, so when I turn it on, we should see the awning jog. Wait until the awning extends or retracts momentarily, then stops. Did you catch that? Okay. So, now, got the remote um, on some of them. This is the older remote. Some of the newer ones where this black stripe is in the middle. You actually have to pop the rear cover off to get to the, to the reset button. But on this one, so here's the key. Push and hold the button, it'll jog twice. Wait six seconds, then it jogs again. You have to hold the button in for that extra six seconds. Don't, don't let go of the button. So, I'm gonna push it in, I'm holding it in, it's jogged, I'm holding it in still, it should jog again, there it goes. So now we're in uh, setup mode. Okay, so pretty much the rest of the instructions are, are self-explanatory. It's number three that stumps most people is you've got to hold that button in for that extra six seconds for the second jog. Okay, so press and hold the up button and the down button until it jogs again. Okay. So we're going to verify the awning direction, so down is out, and that's working. So now we're going to set the out limit of the awning. So that's basically going back to the factory setting of where it was when it fully opened. You can set this wherever you want, if you want to stop here, your choice. somewhere in that furthest out, but once you uh, hold the out button down long enough, it keeps on going, so you have to hit the stop button once you get out that far. Okay, press and hold the up arrow and the stop button until it begins to run. Put the stop button to stop it. Moving on to step 11, with the awning motor stop, press and hold the stop button until it jogs. Okay, so 
that's programming the out limit. So now step 12, press the button on the back until it jogs again. Okay. And now we're in user mode. So everything should work as normal. One touch operation again. Making sure it stops where we set it to stop. Perfect. Okay. So now we've reprogrammed that. It should close nice and tight. sure you remember step 14 reprogram the wind sensor that'll be our next step okay so you see there now it's nice and tight you can't get your fingers in there tight so but we've now got to pull the watch your step we want to tighten up the end that's still loose a little bit so we're going to open it up and we'll reset the wind sensor. So we got the awning out, extended. Page 6 of the manual, we're going to reset the wind sensor. So this is your test. You should test this pretty much before every trip. Awning is extended or thereabouts. Give it a good shake. It should have closed by now. Should have started closing. So. This is the wind sensor here. So if you see a little, there's an unlock and an arrow. So just give it a knock to the left and that removes it. So what we want to do is pop this out. So this is the wind sensor. So this is your sensitivity um, gauge here so it says in the manual they come preset on number one every one we've opened up is on three you can dial it up to nine it's still safe it's just it'll take a lot more wind before it closes at that point so if three is just too sensitive you can dial it up just turning that little dial there this is the um, uh, reset button on here oh. Many hands. So in the manual it says to push the reset button on the back of the remote. The awning will jog. Okay, now to sync the wind sensor, push and hold that till it jogs. That's it. So let's put it all back together again. Make sure you're checking your batteries. Um, if you need to replace them, obviously that's them. It's not a bad idea to have a couple of AAA batteries in the trailer. Okay, and we'll just slide that back in place like that. And if we shake her up, So what we want to do, now we're ready to adjust to get these arms in. Some of, you, some of your awnings will need more than what this one does. Um, basically you need a ratchet 7 16 deep socket or similar to get into the outer rail nut. But what we want to measure first on the trailer side, we just want to measure the distance between the knuckle and this plate here just to see that both sides are the same or thereabouts. So here I've got one and five eighths. And this side I'm one and five eighths. So on the newer units, probably for the last year, we've been putting a, a set screw in here to stop the potential of these moving uh, if, if they bind up. So I'm just going to put that set screw in here on these ones just so that it, if we adjust those the wrong way on the outer arm and it creates too much tension, these can actually slide and that will mess up our program. So I'm just going to put some set screws in on this one. So I'm just using a self-tapper 5 8 screw. I'm just going to 
Yeah, set it in there. Okay, so we've got our two set screws in there, so now I know those those um, knuckles won't move on the trailer side. So now we're gonna move out to the outer edge. And typically what's moving is this is sliding inside of this track. So what we wanna start with is we need to measure to see where they are. So I just hook it, not hook it, I just push it here and I'm looking at this edge. So I am 10 and 3 eighths on this side. Same measurement. Oh, well, I'm not far off. Um, just under, so what is that? 10 and, <coughs> I don't know. One tick over 3 eighths. Um, Anyway, so we want to make sure those should be the same. As long as those two um, knuckles are the same distance. So in other words, lots of times we see this would be one and a half. That'll be one and five eighths. We'll just compensate the eighth of an inch over here as well. So if this is ten and a half, this would be ten and five eighths. Um, but we, we need to move those both equally. So you don't want to just move one. Um, what happens is, let's exaggerate, let's say we move this side a quarter inch only, that this head rail will go in crooked and it'll hang up and potentially do some damage as it binds, as it's closing. So you want to try and keep these as equal as possible. So when we need to close it up, just move each one an eighth of an inch at a time and in this case we should be able to keep them exactly the same number so we were ten and three eighths so if I wanted to pull a little closer I'm gonna go closer to ten and a quarter um, so that it pulls it okay. in so once you've got it where um, you're happy it's closing up nice sometimes when you close it I'm not sure why um, sometimes it won't close right up tight. Um, it'll be sticking out just an eighth of an inch. But as long as when you push on that end, if there is no movement, it's, it's firm, and that's it. Um, when you tighten these up, don't go crazy over tightening them, just snug with the wrench. Um, then I wanted to show you too, um, sometimes this, when you close it up, you, this, pitch will be off whether it's this way or this way and, and you can get it a bit tighter by adjusting that. That's this adjustment right here. It comes with a piece of protective tape on it, not quite sure why, but just use an Allen key in there. I believe it's a three mil and then just a small adjustment. You'll just immediately see a reaction from the lead rail. Um, to fine tune it so it fits nice and snug. Um, hopefully that should get us all back in business. Again, keep in mind, start with those measurements and match it with these. Not the same number, but again, if we're off by an eighth of an inch, you know, factor that in. But ideally these, in a perfect world, those numbers, should both be the same on both ends, whether it's inch and a half or two inches, some are two, some are inch and a half. Um, and then these should be the same numbers, whichever they are. Uh, another idea too is once you've got it dialed in, just bring a little felt pen. Some of them already have it, we've been doing it. Just put a mark right dead center of where, the, where that set bolt goes. And that way, if it's out of adjustment, you can just move it right back where it was. 